with this gorgeous creature that is Tasha McKenzie today. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. That is good. Now, you have been at the expo now for a couple of days and you're just warming into things. I am. Now you look like you practice what you preach. So tell me, like you're obviously healthy and fit. How'd you get into all this industry, Zach? Actually, <laughs> I did. I, you know, I did go to the gym a, a fair bit, but not that much. Like, you know, I had a personal trainer. I just did two days a week, and that was really it. Um, and then I met Zach, and he was, you know, pushing me to not pushing me, but you know, bringing me to the gym every day. And I saw what he was doing. I was like. I want to do that, like I want to do that and then Aww. meeting everyone like around him and in the fitness industry really motivated me and inspired me to want to train more and to, you know to be involved with the people in the industry and that's where now I'm here. <laughs> that's so good, I talked to Zach a little bit so if people don't know, Tasha is Zach's better half, much better half and he also told me that she's sumo deadlifts more than him so let's just put that on the record yeah. for right now. So you are all about being a strong woman, obviously, I'm all about strong women, lifting weights. Yeah. What do you think about the stigma about women lifting weights in the gym? Uh, you know, I think everyone's, you know, everyone's got their own opinion, the right to their own opinion, sorry. But I just think people need to be healthy, need to be strong. Women need to empower other people. I've been hearing a lot of things lately about women competing and other yeah. people being, you know, uh, not understanding of... The, what the, yeah, exactly. And everyone thinks that, you know, when you're competing, when women are competing, you know, you're on low carbs, you're unhealthy, you're, you know, you're draining your body of energy and nutrients and everything. And it's a really unhealthy thing to do when really it isn't. You know, these ladies have goals. They've, you know, they, they want to they wanna be the best they can be. And being on stage and competing is their it's your platform for exactly. showcasing. It gives you a goal to push yourself towards. And speaking of which, a little birdie tells me that it's your first competition in yeah. six weeks. Can we? I have a six. <laughs> six weeks. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I've got two weeks left. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, like, how is your training and your nutrition different to sort of when you started? Like, is it hard? I actually, I've got my high in carbs still. Um, you know, I've got my high days and my low days, but it's still quite above average, which is good because all I'm doing is weight training. That's all I do. No cardio at all. No cardio. I've got a. I've got Metcon. No cardio. <laughs> I've got Metcon two days a week. But that's only like 15 minutes of you know high intensity little workouts, and that's it. Do you get cheat meals? I get one cheat meal a week, but that's now finished, unfortunately. So, oh God. yeah. Is that why you're gonna get grumpy now? No, <laughs> actually, I'm, I I love it. I love not being able to eat naughty because I'm restricting really? myself. Yes, I'm like wow. I I've always been bad with like kicking at things, and now I have to tell myself no. But I'm proud of myself for saying no because I'm going to have an amazing body that I have worked hard for and that's the main thing. That is a really, really good attitude. Hey, so, like, like Zach talks a lot about being a, like creating a lifestyle that works for you. What other things, like, what do you do to chill out if you're not training? Just, oh, I just go to the beach. I love the water. You know, we'll go up to Springbrook, up in Queensland. We'll go to the waterfalls. We'll go have a look. We'll have a picnic or we'll just go down to the beach and chill. It's nice. And did you get to do all the travelling with Zach this time? I didn't get to go to Europe this time, unfortunately, because I had to stay with my trainer and, you know, really focus on my, my training and my diet and everything. But we will be we will be, uh, we will be travelling soon. We're going to Europe soon, and that will amazing. be amazing. So there's one thing I do have to ask from your Instagram. You have got an amazing booty. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> so clearly, <laughs> you're a legs girl. Do you have a favourite exercise you like to do in the gym? Yes, oh, my favourite is sumo deadlifts. Yeah, ah, the one that you're really strong. I was, at. yeah, no, I was okay. out there before. I was what like, are your stats? What are your left? Come on. Um, my personal best, I think, is a hundred. Yeah. So look, ladies, if you are worried, it's, it's, it's awesome. I think it's amazing it's for a, me. It's really good. But see, if you're worried about looking big, if you're in the weights room, does she look big? No, she does not. Look, Tash, thank you so much thank for taking you. the time out and good luck for your first comp. You're going to kill it.